Uh, so much they so once again they stick me at the end of the program <laughs> so that I am the only thing standing between you and the food <laughs> so really I should just say okay everyone let's eat but it may surprise you to know I do have a few things to say <laughs> this is the 19th annual stampede breakfast the stampede break the fast the sunset breakfast this year and as you all know last year I actually spent the entire stampede talking about this event because I thought it was such a beautiful example of our cultures coming together in this incredible community that we have built together. And I continue to do that now because I do think that we stand as a beautiful example of working with the community, of bringing different kinds of cultures together, and I think that that is an extraordinary thing. Now this year is a special year. Not only are we celebrating the 103rd Calgary Stampede, but I also believe very strongly that we are standing at a pivotal point in history, that we are standing in a time of reconciliation. And I think it's important for us to remember, standing on this bluff above Nose Creek, that for thousands of years people have met on this land. For thousands of years they have lived and loved and traded and formed community on this land. And I think it's important for us to remember whether our ancestors have been here for thousands of years, whether we came 44 years ago, like my family did from East Africa, whether we were recent arrivals from a refugee camp in Peshawar or in Northern Kenya. I think it's important for us to remember that we stand on the traditional lands of the Blackfoot people. We stand on lands that were shared by the Beaver people of the Sudina nation and by the Nakoda people of the Stony nations, that we stand in the footprints of the Métis people. And it's on their legacy that we continue to build community in this place. That and so many other legacies. As you heard from Zahid, a lot of people learn about Ramadan. So many people know about the fast right now. But I always explain to people why the month of Ramadan is holy, and it's holy precisely because it is the month in which the Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And when Muslim tradition tells us that when the angel Gabriel came to the Prophet, his first words to the Prophet, as you heard, his first words to the Prophet was, read. The Prophet was illiterate. And he replied to the angel, but I cannot read. And two more times, the angel said to the prophet, read, read, read in the name of thy Lord and creator who created, created man from a clot of blood. Read in the name of thy Lord who gave man the pen so that man can increase his knowledge. And the first step in this religion was the increase of knowledge and the first step was reading. And that's why it's so incredibly appropriate that we're supporting this wonderful organization, Calgary Reads, today because our entire religious background, our entire faith, is based on gathering knowledge. That's something we can all remember in this broken world of ours, in this world of ideology, in this world where too many would seek to divide us rather than unite us. That the core of this faith, and indeed the core of all faiths, is gathering knowledge. Now with that, I will tell you that I do love being the mayor during Stampede. I do get the opportunity to stand between people and their food a lot. But I do get to do a lot of other great things. I get to be in every single corner of this community, every single day, with incredible people who've gotten up at an ungodly hour in the morning to mix pancake batter. Or in our case, we get to do it at night now with great volunteers who do extraordinary things. You've heard about all the volunteers today. Zahid told us there were 500 of them. The president told us there were 700 of them. So I'm gonna thank the 1,472 volunteers who made this happen today. But in particular, I wanna say something. This is my last chance to say this, and I'm gonna take the time, even though I'm standing between you and your food. One of the things that makes me who I am is that I was able to grow up in this community, in this community with this incredible ethic of community service and volunteerism. People are always shocked when I tell them that the Calgary Stampede is almost entirely run by volunteers. Bill Gray, who you saw here, is a volunteer, along with 2,400 others. But of course, the Smiley community is also entirely run by volunteers. And my assistant, Franco, who's here with me tonight, was horrified when I told her 
that all of their turns end next week because she said that they're so good. Will they be replaced with good people? And I said, here's open. But I want to say a special thanks to all of the badged and non badge volunteers and all of those who have served in appointments, council appointments and ITREV appointments and everything else, the Muki County Slabs who worked so hard every single day for your three years of incredible service. You have earned a rest and we are deeply, deeply grateful. Let me also say one special thank you to a man who has served in appointed positions for 19 years running. For a man who has served our community with such dedication and such great aplomb for the last six years, I want to hear all of you give up a great Calgary Yahoo for President Moment to there. Now I do get to, as you know, being mayor, I have an additional job during these 10 days. In addition to being the mayor, I am also the city's Yahooer in chief. Do not confuse that with Chief Yahoo. <laughs> Councillor Stevenson's not here tonight. <laughs> the reason I say that is because as you can tell from my voice, as a guy who's been fasting, the voice isn't lasting very long. Um, luckily, Stampede's almost over, I'll be fine. But I have been leading Yahoos all over this city. And I've got to tell you that the results to date have been um, kind of pathetic. So tonight, we're going to remedy that. And tonight, I want to hear on the count of three, the biggest Yahoo you can muster. And I want you to Yahoo for this incredible community we've built. I want you to Yahoo for the future that we're building together. And most important today, I want you to Yahoo for those extraordinary volunteers in the Ismaili community and everywhere else. People who use their hands, their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their voices to build our community better. So here we go, are you ready? One, two, three, yeah! And with that, I declare the sunset breakfast open. <laughs>